Hey guys, got a quick and easy tutorial for you today. I'm gonna paint up these little soap bubbles right here. Really, really easy techniques. Anyway, we're gonna roll right into it. Y'all, come on, let's go for a ride. All right guys, so I've got some light in my cup. I've got a little circle stencil here. And this is a really, really easy process. All right, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little bit brighter on this edge. And I'm gonna let that overspray run to the inside, right? Now, the thing about that, if you want the easiest way to create that effect is duplicate 180 degrees exactly what you do on this side. And I'll show you, if you want images in there, I'll, have, I'll show a little clip of how you can cut a paper stencil to have the same image. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow over my white there, around this outside, gonna hit all this outside edge with some yellow. Now I got some magenta, and I'm gonna come in here and work that magenta. I'll let it blend into that a little bit. Then I'll let it blend into the little, into the inside. I'll let it hit that yellow, which will just, all that'll do is create more coloring. Um, we might do some touch up on it, but now I got some cyan, and I'm gonna make sure I get it in the middle. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna catch some of that overspray, gonna create some blues, and it's gonna create some yellows. But I'm also gonna take that cyan and maybe touch it here and there on the outside, which will cause my yellow to be a little green. I will add a little white for my highlight here. Maybe just let a little bit of light pinch those edges, just a hair. And then, I want to remove my stencil. And I'm going to put highlights in. So, I'm going to put my highlight in. Maybe three or four of them. But, same thing, I want to follow what I've done out to the outside. Now, when I get to this outside edge, I'm going to put a highlight in. I'm going to let it glare out a little bit. So, I'm going to start out by putting a nice tight dot. And then I'm going to pull back, continue to pull back for paint. On this particular one, I thought I should just go ahead and I want my yellow to be a little bit more vibrant, maybe my magenta, so I'm gonna just curve around a little bit. And as long as I'm not too crazy, a little bit of overspray out there won't much matter. So I'm gonna make it to where the bubble is a little bigger. And adding this yellow on top without the stencil there as long as you're working with the transparent doesn't really matter and then I'll come back in with my highlights although before that I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, make the rest of my bubbles and I'll highlight it all in the end so I'm gonna put you all on time-lapse watch me put the other bubbles on top and then I'll show you how I finish those off put an image inside it what you do is you know make your cut inside there but when you cut it, fold your paper in half and it will cut both sides at the same time for you. Then you cut the paper in half and then you can flip it 180 degrees and it'll give you a stencil to use on both sides flipped 180 in mirror. Put in all these bubbles like this for expediency. It would be a little more accurate to place each bubble, completely build it, and then place your next bubble, completely build it on top. But by playing around a little bit with colors, you kind of 
make how your bubbles lay in front of each other. Uh, you just have to be real careful when you start highlighting them. Like, okay, if I highlight this bubble really heavy, it's gonna appear on top of this bubble. So instead, I will probably highlight this bubble, ignore the bubble that's underneath, put my, yeah, I'm a little like, inaccurate there. And I'm probably gonna do the same as I did before, and that I'll probably add a little bit more yellow to it now that the colors have mixed together. I kind of like to have my bowls simulate each other. So I'm gonna do like I did before. I'm gonna add in a little bit more yellow. I'll blend those bubbles out just a little bit more just to have a slightly more vibrant image. But notice how I'm deciding which ones are on top. I didn't put that highlight in as bright as my other highlight because that bubble would be behind. I'm gonna pop a little magenta in there and then I'll pop that yellow in just because I thought there was a little less vibrant than it needed to be. Sometimes when you're painting, you know, on black like this, if you're painting on black like this and you're running white, sometimes you really gotta get that white in there good and solid. Sometimes you might have to do something twice um, to get a good coverage and good vibrant image. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate y'all stopping by our channel today. For those of you who are interested, I have a kit page that'll be linked down in the description before, below, excuse me, um, you know, for materials that I use in my tutorials you guys might be interested in. And uh, for those of you that are interested in a little more in-depth tutorials we're getting into pretty deep um, i have started a patreon page which you can find by searching w leon artistry on patreon or you can go to my main page on youtube and there should be a little link on the top right hand side you can click it'll take you right over there but anyway that's um gonna wrap it up for today i hope you all got something out of it i'm gonna get out of here y'all have a good one bye